right? Anyway, we got a new, uh, I got another question for you, pal. Uh, yeah, Scott Wilde from New Zealand. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Matt, do you think Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff hurt TNA or helped? So because I knew Hulk loved me, I was excited about coming, right? For obvious reasons, selfish wrestler reasons, right? But ultimately, oh, I mean, I don't think we ever should have tried to go up against WWE. I think we were on the right. If you go back to the ratings at the time, I would say around 2000, the end of 2007, 2008 ish, 2008 until whenever I thought was at its best. We had yeah. all the perceived younger guys working with. I did a year long storyline with Kurt Angle and his main event mafia members, with Booker T, Scott Steiner, Kevin Nash. Just me. We had, we had other younger guys at the time, like Magnus, um, AJ Styles, who shouldn't be considered young, right? But but AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Motor City Machine Guns. We had a stack roster. And I'm telling you, I'm not just saying it as a homer here, but if you compared TNA Impact at that time versus SmackDown, it was around the time when whenever Jack Swagger was their champion and Sheamus was their champion, yeah, yeah. Champion, I would take our roster any day of the week over. I'm not just saying that. Um, because it was, and we also had, I thought, a better show at the time. But then, you know, you have an opportunity to bring in the Babe Ruth of pro wrestling. You know what I mean? I can't blame them for wanting to do that. It was a good idea, but it, by bringing Hogan, uh, Flair, Ric Flair, and I didn't come in, I never had a chance to wrestle Ric Flair on television, right? So for selfish purposes, I liked it, but for the company's well-being, uh, uh, Renee and James, obviously, no. Because it didn't do what it was supposed to do. Um, but I don't know if that's on them. I, I, I still don't know. Was it Eric's idea to take us on the road, get us out of the impact zone? I don't know. I, it was. So... Okay.